So you may have noticed in my previous video, I did a little bit of linking in there, and that's what these are with the double brackets. You can link anything with double brackets, and it basically creates the page on the fly. You don't have to go and create a page up at the top. You can type in here and create a page if you want. But generally, you create your pages just through the normal working of your day. Uh, so we're going here. I think examples from the daily notes are probably appropriate again. So you can see these places I said meet with William, and even down here I said so-and-so called. Of course, I put a real name in there, but that created a page for so-and-so. If I go in here, I can then start putting more details about them. And I have a session later on about people specifically. But you can see here I have areas to type whatever I want about that person, and down at the bottom are the linked references, all the other places that I referenced so-and-so. I can see what happened there. I can even see things underneath that, You know what's going on with that. See everything about that person in that place. Now, if we go back here, you see, I link a lot of things. Now, there's two ways to link things. You can put double brackets around it, and you can do that two ways. You could have, you could type double brackets and then say double brackets, or you can have a word, uh, a word, highlight it, and then hit double brackets, and it'll put them around it properly as well there too. Either way, I'll do the same thing and make a new page for either of those things. You also see sometimes you can do a hashtag instead, like I have hashtag EOS and hashtag AltMBA. As of now, those are the exact same thing. Uh, so if I click on EOS, it just makes a page for us, just a different way to link and appears a little bit different in your stuff. I tend to use that more like for tags, but frankly, I don't have a great solution for that yet. Uh, Rome says there is going to be changes coming to that sometime in the future, the way they're handled, but for now, they're exactly the same. And again, if I say schedule quarterly EOS with a hashtag, and then if I mention EOS this way, it's the exact same thing. You also notice as I start typing those double brackets, it pulls up recent pages as I start typing. Uh, if I were to say, um, Chris, it'll automatically try to find one that you've already done. So if I enter now, it's going to make a new page called Chris. But if I arrow down or mouse over to it and then hit enter, it'll make it Chris Heiberg to be the same one. Because as of now, if I were to do another page called Chris Heiberg this way, that is a different page. There's no way to merge those together, really. Well, you can merge them, but you can't really. They're still different pages in the eyes of Rome. This one mentions the Gwinnett Meetup and all that stuff. Whereas the other one is just, it's a different person. It's a different page. So you got to be kind of careful of that. It's easy to make duplicates, um, something, to, something to keep an eye on. But the amount of stuff you link is completely up to you. I tend to be a pretty aggressive linker. I think there's a lot of advantages to it. And if I link something like Chris Heiberg and never go to his meetup again, that's okay. It didn't really cause any problems. But if I do, I may realize, oh my gosh, that's the same guy I saw at that meetup three years ago. Because when I go to his page, I'll see the reference down here to, Way back in 2020, I went to his meetup. And I've had a few of those serendipitous things already happen, even though I've only been using this for about a year, where I'll reference something, it'll autofill. It's like, huh, why is that autofilling? I don't remember that. And then when I click it and go to it, I can see the references back to it from before. And that's where those bi-directional links can be so helpful. So I encourage you in your daily notes and even inside of other notes, as we'll see in a little while, you can link from anywhere to anywhere. I encourage you to do that uh, as frequently as you think makes sense.